Richardson at the moment. Julian Alfred, the history maker, the gold medal. You all remember this. It was such a momentous moment for St. Lucia's Julian Alfred and a disappointing finish for American Shakari Richardson. While receiving silver is still an honor, who'd want that instead of gold, right? Well, in a few days, these two powerful sprinters are set to race against each other again, and fans are on the edge of their seats, anticipating the race's result. Will the St. Lucian once again cross the line first, or will the American find her speed again and overtake the Olympic champion this time? As most of you are probably aware, the rivalry between them has been going on way before this year's Summer Games. However, 2023 was very much marked by their rivalry on the tracks. The sprinters first locked horns at the Isfahan Gulai Memorial in 2023. Richardson, fresh off her victory in the Poland Diamond League against Jamaican powerhouse Sharika Jackson, hoped to continue that streak in Hungary too. Much to her dismay, Alfred blazed right past her to the finish line, claiming an effortless win in 10.89 seconds. She bounced back pretty quickly though, and reclaimed her crown at the 2023 World Championships in Budapest with a personal best time of 10.65 S. Their next encounter was in the Paris Olympics 100 meter finals. Contrary to what almost everybody expected, it was the Saint Lucian who erupted victorious yet again by swiftly making her way through the rain-soaked tracks in 10.72 seconds. Shakari Richardson and her training partner Melissa Jefferson trailed behind in 10.87 seconds and 10.92 seconds. The gap between Alfred and the 24-year-old was 0.15 seconds, the biggest margin women's 100-meter dash has seen since the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Even though Shakari stated several times that she was better, it may just be possible that she just wasn't good enough against Alfred. Anyhow, many fans believed they wouldn't see her again this season. Turns out they will. Unfortunately, for her at least, there is an issue that keeps coming back to her, often becoming the decisive factor in her races. Although she has always pulled herself ahead of the competition, her slow start has always been a problem. Even Michael Johnson, a four-time Olympic gold medal sprinter, took note of this. He said, Shakari's start is very, very inconsistent. It's a real struggle, real problem for her. Nevertheless, the Paris Olympics had been an experience for her. It was her Olympic debut after all. In an interview, she admitted, I would say honestly, Paris 2024 Olympics has been an honor. It has been humbling. It has been fun. It is, and she is ready for more. I literally yep. cannot wait for LA. Like I'm almost like jumping like three years ahead because this experience was something like totally unbelievable. Yep, she said that herself. Before that though, she's bound to compete in various competitions. Three years is a long time after all. As a matter of fact, she is set to compete very, very shortly. More specifically, Shakari Richardson and Julian Alfred will meet for the first time since Paris 2024 at the Weltklasse Zurich Diamond League track and field meet in a few days. It'll be the first time since the Paris 2024 final at the Stade de France and a first chance for world champion Richardson to rematch Alfred, who won St. Lucia's first two Olympic medals ever in Paris. What's more, in this rematch with Alfred, Richardson and her St. Lucian rival will also get to take on European champion Dina Asher Smith of Great Britain, after the latter surprisingly missed out on making the Olympic final in Paris. In case you somehow missed it, Asher Smith finished fifth in her semi-final heat at the Stade de France depriving her of a chance to test herself against Richardson and Alfred. Switzerland's Mujinga Kambunji, sixth in the Paris final, is also set to star in the Weltklasse 100 meter on home soil. While they all have equal chances to win gold, most eyes are focused on Alfred's and Richardson's rivalry. Even days before the event, the excitement was already palpable as fans weighed in on the Zurich 100 meter showdown, reflecting on the athlete's previous encounters and current form. One fan remarked, depends on Shakari's start. This likely referred to the Paris Olympics finals, where Shakari Richardson's lackluster start played a crucial role in Alfred's victory. Another fan provided a detailed analysis. It's too close to call, based purely on what we saw in Paris. 
Julian's in 10.6 mid shape, taking the weather into account, and Shakari will need a good start and possibly a PB to win. We may see another SB from Dina, maybe a NR. Unsurprisingly, many fans are leaning towards Julian Alfred. Still, it is crucial to remember Shakari Richardson's potential to rise to the occasion and deliver a stellar performance. The clash between these two top athletes was set to be a thrilling encounter, with both contenders having their strengths and recent form on display. Here's the thing. Whether or not Alfred comes on top in Zurich, she is already well-loved, especially in her country. In fact, plans are underway for the official homecoming celebration to honor St. Lucia's Sprint Queen, according to the chair of the official homecoming committee doctor, Ernest Hilaire. The activities are scheduled to begin on September 24th. She will be here for three or four days, so we will plan a very comprehensive program for her and to make sure that she gets a welcome and a recognition befitting of an Olympic champion and the fastest woman in the world," declared Dr. Hilaire at a recent media briefing. Honestly, she more than deserves it. Although Alfred's accomplishment in Paris instantly transformed her into an international sports star, she entered the 100 finals as a relative unknown, at least among the casual sports fans who tune in to watch the Olympics. In the world of track and field, however, she has been a decorated figure for several years, including at the University of Texas, where she competed from 2018 through 2023. Over the 2021 to 22 and 2022 to 2023 athletic seasons, she exhibited her dominance in various events, especially in the 100 meter and 4x100 meter. Simply put, her success carried over into 2024. Once it came time for the Olympics, she was ready to fulfill a lifelong goal. Growing up, I always said I wanted to be one of St. Lucia's first medalists. First gold medalists, she said to Olympics.com in August 2023. I'm really looking forward to going to the Olympic Games and trying to deliver at that level for my country. In a fateful 11 second burst, she was able to do just that. So this, Turn to this. So I definitely knew <laughs> that St. Lucians would be watching um, and hoping that they could get their first Olympic gold, well, Olympic medal, and it came as a goal. So I'm sure they're celebrating right it now. It goes without saying that her recent Olympic win is an honor for both her and her country. She hopes that with this, people will get to learn more about her homeland. What's more, she hopes that sports will be given the support it deserves. I'm really hoping that we can get a new stadium. Alfred said, I'm really hoping that we can help the youth in the country believe that they can get out of the ghetto, help them believe that they can make it here. We can come from a small place, but also be on the biggest stage. Long story short, Alfred's victory is the culmination of a journey that she said began in St. Lucia's capital city, Castres, with her running barefoot in her school uniform. She's come so far and still has a long road ahead of her. Her next stop, the Zurich Diamond League. You should know that it is the last stop before the Wanda Diamond League final in Brussels in mid-September. While the Diamond League is not as well known to non-sports fans as the Olympics, it is famous for the premier one-day meeting series in athletics. It comprised 15 of the most prestigious events in global track and field, where athletes compete for points at the 14 series meetings in a bid to qualify for the two-day Wanda Diamond League final in Brussels. Make sure to watch this in the meantime.